Here we are. So today, this morning, we had two kids present uh, for some injuries. Unfortunately, they had crawled up into a vehicle this morning or sometime overnight and the owner went to start the vehicle and he did not know of any cats on his property, especially kittens. And so he brought them in. We think one has an injury and the other one appears normal, maybe a boy and a girl. We are going to accept uh, one into that ranch but of course, April, we know the way she is. She had to take both of them. We couldn't split these guys up. And I think you'll see why now. Because they're on top of each other. Because they're the cutest things ever. And so what we're going to do is take some x-rays of one of their paws, identify uh, their sex. I think there's a male and a female. April's toys here. This guy appears to be a little bit more friendly. But as we know, kittens come around. This is a little boy, and this little kitty has been a little bit more dramatic. It's a little girl. I believe one of these guys has a hurt paw. So we're going to take some x-rays of it and make sure all is well. And go ahead and do a parasite screen on them and just make sure they don't have any fleas or anything like that. So let's get started. So we decided to name these guys Dee Dee and Dexter. There's one female, one male. And this is Dee Dee's x-rays, the one with the injury. And I hope you can tell we have, I'm using my little pointer here. This metacarpal right here is fractured and the outside metacarpal is fractured. So that is not great, but I'm actually okay with that injury. Unfortunately, we see a lot more devastating injuries with uh, these little kittens or cats that crawl up in cars. And the good news with this is, since this cat is so young, already making bone, already, you know, just uh, just doing well, growing, um, I think this is gonna heal just fine. And so we're gonna put a splint on it to help it uh, so it doesn't move, so hopefully it'll be less painful. Get some pain meds on board, anti-inflammatories, and put a splint on for stabilization. and. It is amazing how quickly young animals, especially kittens, can heal. So I predict just probably in a few weeks, maybe a little bit longer, um, that those little fractures right there will be healed. And that's the one, uh, Dee Dee's the one that's a little upset that was kind of hissing or <laughs> spitting at us, and we can see why. So we're going to manage that pain, and I bet you Dee Dee will begin to warm up to us. <laughs> Dee Dee, Dexter, hey guys, what are y'all doing? Well, Dee Dee and Dexter are doing great. A lot of entertainment for everybody. Eating and drinking good, thriving, cuddling. And today we're gonna change that splint. It's been on a week. So that'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Make sure there's no complications under there. And so all is well so far, but we're going to change that splint, make sure everything's going good, and just go from there. I was hoping I was going to catch them doing something cute in there, which I suppose I did. I mean, everything they do is cute. Oh, gosh. We got Dee Dee here. Dee Dee present for a bandage change. So we're going to take this splint off, put the new one on and take a look to make sure there's no sores or anything like that underneath the bandage. Oh my gosh, it's just a little foot. So this leg actually looks really good. Whoever put the splint on must have done a fantastic job. No pressure sores or anything. So we're going to continue that goodwill and put another one on. This is a live action shot. Back to the cage, zooming in. Back to Dexter, waiting on deck. And they're reunited. Hey, there's someone behind you that wants to meet you. <laughs> uh, are we boring you? Look at her, she can't stop looking at the camera. And then here's 
Herb in the background is biting her everywhere. Uh oh, <laughs> he's about to get her. Burb. Burb. A little oh much, much, buddy. It's a friend with four functional legs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here are the radiographs for Dee Dee. I'm going to zoom in, but definitely still broken on those uh, digits four and five. Um, or sorry, the metacarpals. But it looks like there's some bony changes happening. No callus yet, so we're back at it again. Um, with splinting and then we'll recheck in a couple weeks. Here is Dee Dee. This is the second bandage change. So two weeks with the splint on and everything is going well except for these scissors. Look at that. No, that's not even. But everything's doing well. Dee Dee and Dexter are having a blast. They just got a new cellmate which is awesome. So when we change this we're always looking for any wounds, any pressure points, anything like that, any swelling. Um, it looks really, really good. Maybe getting a little bit raw there around that dew claw. In fact, we'll get some stuff and put it on that. Dr. Judd just replaced the splint a few days ago and this little girlfriend said, I'm over it and took it off. So we're gonna retake x-rays and see what it looks like. You don't deserve that. No. Dee Dee is rocking out. So much improvement from last week. The second one is almost completely healed and the first one looks like it's bridged and close to being healed. So we're just gonna leave off that splint. I guess she made the decision for us, but it looks pretty good. So. Um, she's bearing weight on it too. Kittens are amazing at healing. I am here with the greatest kitties in the world, Dee Dee and Dexter. We can't ignore Noun and Verb, who they're, they're their cellmates now, which is really cool. <laughs> okay, cackle from April, which is always good. So we're here with uh, Dee Dee and Dexter today. Dee Dee's doing great, getting around, playing. In fact, you would never know um, that she had her injury, which is awesome. Today's a big day for them because they're getting their rabies vaccine along with their feline leukemia and FBRC P vaccine. <laughs> so let's get it done. Here we go. Hey man, what's up? What you got going on up here? So they treat you about the same as they do me? Hmm. He's getting all your stuff. But that's cute. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's put them together down there and see what they do. Click, click. Dexter and Dee Dee this morning, they're doing great, making a mess here. We've separated them from some of their playmates because we are going to spay and neuter them today. Uh, just part of the process of giving them or getting them to their forever home. So we're excited about that. He 
and Dexter are going to Petco today. I think their brothers Verb and Noun are gonna miss them, but I bet they'll get adopted quickly. So like Dee Dee has not really grown at all. She's still tiny. Like she never had a fracture though. Dex, Kiki Kitty. What? Who's meowing? Who's meowing? Oh, it's Lunchable. You see all these other kitties? Okay, we are here with Dee Dee and Dexter and they are headed. In fact, our transport, our lovely transport, which we need more of, is off camera. Uh, so we're watching super excited, live. watching live, behind the scenes. But we're super excited for these guys. They've been here a bit. Um, this is their last round of vaccines, and then we're going to transport them uh, to Petco. So hopefully they can be on the showroom floor and get adopted um, and get some exposure there. So ultimately, I always just have to mention, especially when transport's here, that this is our goal. Our goal is to find that forever final home. Um, so I'm super excited about it. So today they're going to get their FERCP and their feline leukemia vaccine. Um, and some prevention of revolt, which is heartworm and flea prevention. Who wants to go first? Dex. Dex. Dex or Dexter. Oh my gosh. Dee Dee. She's so cute. Look at her. She's petite. Here, my hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Bye, Dee Dee Dexter. Bye bye. Special shout out to all the transports in the world because we need more of those. So Thank you. Just, just listen to this little. I know you could hear that purring. We are telling, well, it may not be goodbye for good, but our little Dee Dee and Dexter are going to Petco. I have zero doubt that they're gonna get adopted really quick. I mean, they are precious. They are so friendly. Poor little uh, Dee Dee, so sad when we got her, but now she's a normal cat. She's healed up perfectly. But thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Without you guys, we could not do this. We would not be able to just take a little kitten that a client finds and brings in with a broken leg and take the bonus kitten that goes with it without you guys watching our videos and supporting us and donating to me in a pet project. So thank you guys so much for everything and we'll see you on the next case. Bye. Say bye bye. I'm sorry, did you ask to hear some more purr? Okay. I don't care who you are, that's therapeutic. That lowers my blood pressure. Okay, that's it, bye.